Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another experiment. So today we are looking at Jamaica, but if they had all the players they could have. So that what that basically means is I've made sure that they had players that also have the Jamaican nationality who might have played for other nations. And a lot of them are English. Now, let's take a look at those players and see who we've got in there. Um, you, I've popped them all in the shortlist. So we've got the likes of Liam Moore, uh, currently at Reading. Uh, he's actually, I believe, will be playing for Jamaica in real life. Uh, we've then got Max Ahrens, who's another player that is being looked at by the Jamaican national team. Uh, so he may be playing for them in the future. Uh, then we've got Isaac Aiden. Um, and again, another player who's been looked at for the Jamaican national team. Andros Townsend, who's actually made, played for England. Uh, he's also partly Jamaican. We've then got Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, another England international who has made the transfer to Jamaica. Uh, then there's Theo Walcott playing for Saints currently uh, and he's over at Jamaica now. Uh, Mikel Antonio who's another player who's actually been touted to play for Jamaica because of his lack of interest into the England squad. Um, then we've got Raheem Sterling the biggest name on this list for sure uh, and absolutely stalwart for England has been fantastic for them now in Jamaica. Uh, then we've got Jason Punchin who's currently playing for Paphos in Cyprus. Not sure how many games he'll get. Uh, then Kamar Roof as well, who plays for Rangers. Daniel Sturridge, who is a free agent on the game at the start. And then also Troy Deeney, who in this game is still at Watford. Um, so they're the players that we will be looking at. Now, Jamaica themselves currently sit 48th in the world rankings. Um, we'll have to take a look at kind of the competitions they play through, how they do, and kind of the lineups they play. You can see here, the top players include a lot of those players we saw, but they've still obviously got Leon Bailey, who's a fantastic player now at Aston Villa in real life. And they've also got Damian Lowe as well, the centre half. So we'll have to jump ahead, take a look at how they're doing and go from there. All right, so here we are then. Um, it looks like, if anything, they've gone down in the world rankings a year on, um, which is certainly interesting to see. Uh, let's take a look here and see what kind of formation they're going with. So that's the formation they stuck with. Now, we can see that a few of the players are in the team, likes of Oxay chamberlain Sterling, Hayden, Moore, Aarons, uh, and a few more of those players are actually in the squad, just not playing that much. Now, schedule-wise... Have they played any big games? Not as of yet, only the friendlies, but we have got the World Cup qualifying rounds to come up and we'll see if they manage to reach those games. Um, but certainly interesting to see. Let's see how many... Raheem Sterling's made eight appearances and scored a goal for them. So a good start so far. Um, but let's jump again, take a look how they're doing in the world rankings and all that good stuff. Okay, so here we are then. Uh, we are in October of 2022. Uh 24th in the world ranking so they've shot up they've halved their world ranking positions with these players in the squad which isn't too surprising but they're above the likes of Sweden uh, Ghana Chile Cameroon Japan Austria so some big names in there and hopefully that means that they may have actually made it to a national competition so let's jump back we saw the friendlies so in the CONCACAF Gold Cup they actually got to the final and won it on penalties there you go that's a turnaround for the book so who played in the final we got Antonio Bailey who we are aware of Sterling Oxley Chamberlain Hector Moore uh, and Aaron's there as well all playing in the final so that's interesting to see they've actually won the Gold Cup uh, it looks like they might have actually got into the World Cup as well from the stats there. Um, you can see that CONCACAP National Nations League, uh, they've absolutely smashed those games. So they've had no concerns there. And yeah, there you go. You can see here, uh, they're actually in a World Cup Group A with Qatar, Colombia and Bosnia. So not a bad group really when you think about it. Um, let's take a look at the tactics. So they have converted to a more attacking style, 4-2-3-1. They've even brought in Damari Gray um, into the Jamaican setup, which is interesting. He's currently at Traps and Sport. Uh, not one I'd normally say there. Um, interesting to see that they haven't got the likes of Sterling in the squad. Um, he's 27, so I'd expect him to still be around, but maybe it's just for the friendlies. 32 caps and 12 goals, though, from 
Sterling. Uh, Max Aaron's at Man United currently, 34 goal games and three goals. Uh, and Alex Oxley chamberlain 24 and 5. So a few of those players up there. Troy Deeney hasn't actually made an appearance for Jamaica, having to make the switch. Uh, it doesn't look like he will either. But um, let's jump again, take a look at how they're performing and getting on. Wow, okay then. So they're actually 14th in the world rankings now. Tied with Poland, above Mexico, Senegal, Nigeria, Colombia, Ivory Coast, even the United States. So it looks like they are, in fact, the highest ranked North American team. Uh, just above Mexico. So that's interesting to see. That's very, very cool. Um, let's take a look at their performances so far in competitions. Well, we can see there that they've actually won the Gold Cup in the last, this season, this year. Uh, Lewis Baker and Alex Oxley chamberlain getting on the score sheet to beat Mexico. Uh, and you've got the likes of Sterling in there as well. Hayden, um, Aaron's, even Ox. <laughs> wow, okay. Reese Oxford's also become Jamaican to signed for the Jamaican national team and Kamar Roof up top as well interesting to see they beat a few decent teams in there um, like the USA and Mexico so not an easy run either um, let's take a look slightly further back so the World Cup which we saw there uh, they beat Qatar 6-1 absolute demolition uh, Kamar Roof getting to Bailey Sterling Johnson and Tyler Blackett uh, then a 2-1 win against Colombia and a 3-1 win against Bosnia Herzegovina which I mean that's not a bad result really when you think about it I don't think we'll be able to get to see the um oh there you go there's the group they absolutely smashed the group they nine points out of three games uh eight goal difference won it by a mile but they unfortunately got Spain in the next round and they ended up losing 1-0 uh I'm Eric Laporte getting the goal for Spain um it's a it's a shame really I have to say because they they obviously did very well to get through and they ended up playing a big big team in the next round but let's take a look We'll jump a, a big chunk now uh, and see how they got on over the next few years. Okay, so we are five, well, four years on. Uh, they have dropped down to 25th in the rankings. Not as many players are still hanging around for the Jamaican national team. Looks like a few might have retired now. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the tactics. So you see Max Aaron still playing, Isaac Hayden, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Liam Moore in there as well on the bench. Uh, a few of the kind of re new gens, regens, youth intakes coming in but let's take a look back so we were at the, we were back here uh saw that they'd won against mexico in extra time in the gold cup a few friendlies uh another final for them in the gold cup but this time losing out to the united states a uh, bit of a shame there they've got a good team there but not quite enough to to get past the american to their to be fair the usa's team does get very very good in football manager um, another qualifying round for them uh, to get them through to the world cup they did get through to the third round losing to colombia who they'd actually beaten at the world cup previously in extra time which is a shame uh beating angola 4-1 cape verde 2-1 uh, and then losing to croatia in the group stage which is a shame but they got through to the second round but lost in the third um when we go through again we can see that that's kind of where they're at with things um as we saw, 25th in the world ranking. So they did drop quite a lot. Um, they are all the way back down below Mexico now uh, and below the United States. So they, they did hold on for a little bit uh, and they're still up and around there, but not not giving maybe enough to, to be the best in North America. Um, let's take a look, though, at a few of these players. So Max Ahrens has made 86 appearances scoring five goals he's now at Bayern Munich which is very very interesting um Alex Oxlade Chamberlain who's at St Etienne 80 caps 14 goals uh we've also got Isaac Hayden on here who's got 74 caps and six goals which is a lot certainly let's take a look at Sterling though who's the big name the biggest name of the bunch that actually came in it looks like up oh, there he is, up the top. I don't know why I was looking anywhere else. Um, still at Man City, 65 caps and 19 goals. Very interesting that he seems to not have played that much uh, for Jamaica. But there you have it. Uh, a bit of an interesting experiment, popping some players in the Jamaican team that could have played for them. Um, it would certainly make them better. Uh, it's not really a surprise 
but something certainly interesting to take a look at. There'll be a few more of these to go out as well, so keep an eye out for all of them coming up over the next few weeks uh, and days and all that stuff before FM22 comes out. Uh, but make sure you like, subscribe for all that good stuff coming up, and I'll catch you next time.